favor Hikaru. Do you agree yes. that Hikaru is the favorite in this bullet? I do, but as the games kick off, I've played Nihal in a ton of games with a 10-second time control plus one-second increment, and he is incredible maximizing his last one, two seconds. So I actually think both of these players are going to be amazing at this time control. I think we're going to see some very high-quality games and a super positional choice by Nihal in the first bullet game. What do you make of this? I think it's a very good choice because he finds his comfort zones. We've seen him play the black, uh, the white side, excuse me, the Queens gave it accepted and other variations where he feels at home like Rook C5, a big move from Hikaru. Oh. And the Queen just drops back saying, well, what's your Rook doing there? It let the Queen go, but the Rook on C5 just awkwardly plays. His, Hikaru is playing some fluency with the typical ideas, but the problem is that White's got this massive clamp on the D5 score, Morozzi bind style, and a knight landing on D5 could not only pressure E7, Robert, but lead to the very favorable trade of dark squared bishops for White. That's true, and Bishop A3 like forces the rook back. You can't go to that C7 too. because of knight D5. He starts with knight D5, and the knight on 6 is ultra well defended. That's important. The knight on D7 covers. You don't get to shatter black spawn structure. And you certainly don't want to cooperate with the trade once the dark squared bishops disappear, you've got long-term problems with your king, and your remaining knight is going to be passive. Nihal keeps tightening the screws and tightening the noose, and he's up on time as well. Yeah, knight takes d5 is a big question, because knight d5, bishop takes g7, knight takes e3. It is pandemonium there, but instead he goes a6, b5. Oh, we saw that happen stuff. yesterday, but I think black is actually getting the advantage here. Great stuff by Hikaru. It's easy to miss that moment, but he's creating mega counterplay on the queen side. So maybe a calm move is required. Whoa. And Nihal playing anything but calm. Knight to d5, and we've got pandemonium. It's great bullet chest. Bishop h6. There is a pawn push to stop the check being on g7. So it's not like Hikaru is in too grave of danger. B takes c4. If Bishop h6, then there's pawn to c3. You get away with that as well. Oh, careful now if you're Nihal. That's so easy to miss. Bc probably has to be about with Bc. But Robert, then you've got to reckon with the threat of a3, which comes Oof. all of a sudden. And Hikaru <gasps> defends his queen. Wait, but Bishop h6 and just force f6? And maybe I'm thinking about like C5. C5, smells exactly. Smells of tactics, but I can't quite put my finger on it. Maybe Can start with C5. Start with C5. Because after C5, DC, there's also Bishop E5 distracting oh. the rook from the queen's defense. So you don't even go for checkmate on G7. You're going instead after the knight. Nihal is investing his time. Can he find C5? And he does not. Bishop H8. He wants to take on F6 and take on D6. Bishop. What oh a bullet decision. Yeah, that's you. The knight also is trapped on b4. A3, there's knight c6 because the queen on b2 is oh losing. But the knight is almost trapped. He moves the queen. Now a3 is a huge threat. I don't see a defense against it. And if you lose the knight, you basically lose the game. He can't save his knight. Oh, my land. He defends c6. There's queen d5 check to win the knight on c6 right away. So this Five is seconds, losing for Karo. One second. He's got to move. And he a3. doesn't figure out a defense. He's trying a3 to take is... on e2 instead. Okay, but just... Queen h6? Queen h6 was winning! Oh, he misses it, but he's still in good shape. Rook a6, rook d7, check to follow. You win the f6 pawn. It feels uh, like you have a vicious attack. But then black would win b4 and c4. Nihal trying to cling to his pawns. Take in and go b5. That's the practical choice. Whoa, he no. has rook check. And, oh, that's a mate! He's going for a mate! Rook h8! And he look at it. the passive defense oh of Karu Saves the day! Not yet, though. Rook b6, Nihal still keeping his foot on the gas pedal, but not to no avail. Yeah. Unbelievable, another defensive save. With a mere two seconds on his clock, more or less. Hikaru oh. Nakamura surviving. And how Wait. many chances like this are you going to get? Maybe another one in this game. Yeah, look at the passive defense by Hikaru. No, it's a draw. It's a draw. And Queen H6 there, Robert, that was the turning point. He traded Queens too quickly, but how can you blame him? Holy smokes, and Hikaru going to milk off as much time as he can. Hikaru is a grizzled veteran of the SEC yeah. format. He knows that there's not going to be a quick draw, and Nihal, great with the mouse speed. He's just going to move quickly. <gasps> oh! oh my gosh!